Those aren't thunder chickens. And don't, uh, don't judge me on that, uh, pot call. <laughs> I gotta be, <laughs> they go running when the garage door comes down. I gotta be honest, as big of a fan as I am of the, uh, Robertson boys, that, the striker's a little, I don't know, it's, I just, I can't get it to match up well. I, I may need to, like, I may need to, like, wet it or something, but morning, everybody. Chad, Doss Farms. <laughs> After we saw those uh, two dozen turkeys <laughs> up the road, we've uh, seen a couple toms. So I actually ordered a couple of uh, turkey calls and I've been able to sit on the back deck and chirp back and forth with them. It's kind of cool. Anyway, all right, in case you were wondering, we're getting a ton of eggs. I'm getting like 10 or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Somebody's missing, I think. But we're getting like a dozen eggs a day. And that didn't break. Sorry, ladies. Oh, cowboy right in the noggin, man. He tried to catch it. In true Chad fashion, I still feed my chickens three or four eggs a day. Their eggs are ridiculously, the shells, I should say, are ridiculously strong. I don't feed them nothing. They drink water from the little uh, ravine we have right here. No, see, it sounds like you're saying dad. Don't say dad, say mom. 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 Mom's putting warm clothes on, I guarantee it. What's up, buddy? Oh, I heard the pig. I heard the pig. Izzy. What's up, buddy? There she is. Oh my goodness, dude. She was in there, man. That is awesome. I wish I could have got that for you guys. I'm sorry. I'll try again on Thursday. Remember, that's raised pasture, so I don't want to show you guys too much over there. But there is going to be a major change today. Okay? And I'm going to hold off on talking about the other two goats. And I'm going to hold off on talking about Ruby. Well, I, won't, I don't want to hold off on it, but... Remember, we are waiting on a key moment to go get Ruby, okay? We'll get it sorted, I promise. Ruby is coming to the farm. She is safe, nothing is wrong, but we've gotta wait on a certain time. I know I said on Saturday, the boys are out of school this week, yada, yada. I'm not trying to be, I'm, 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 not, I'm not trying to ignore what I said. It's just been 48 hours since that video, so. Take it easy. This is my first day and raise without, I don't wanna say the responsibility of the boys, but like cases here. So we can come outside, we can uh, be out here the whole day. We actually have something I am super excited about. I didn't think I'd be as excited as I am. If you can't tell, it's stinking cold. I didn't think I'd be as excited as I am, but I, I truly am. But we have a concrete pad going in today. That's right. Oh, did you know once they pour it, you can't park on it for like five, six, seven, up to 14 days, depending on, I didn't know that. I thought they just pour it and you just drive around on top of it. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't realize it was 14 days, but that's like max. I mean, that's like when you pour and it's 20 degrees outside or something like that. So I definitely don't want to crack it. So we won't be pushing it, but let's go down and well, we gotta do a couple things. We need to, me and the wiener, we need to uh, go open the gate and then take the cows, I need gloves, and then take the cows a new bale of hay. We'll probably hit 200 hours on our two year anniversary, which I believe is November. This little tractor, man, I say little, it's a 50 horse. It's not, it's not small, but is it, it, it's a 
it should have let it warm up a little. It's not small, a 50 horse tractor, it's not. It weighs like 4,500 pounds. It's a pretty big tractor. But it's not meant to move bales like it does, but it does. When the time comes, as much as, <laughs> as, much as Aaron at Lone Rock would love for me to get a John Deere, I'll probably go with a Coyote again. my money back on that trailer. It got a little interesting, but I got my money back. It's interesting how things change when things are brought to light. I don't really want to go into detail about it. I'm not trying to smear anyone. I just believe in being honest to a fault. I would rather, I would rather tell you the truth and have you back away from a deal if you're dealing with me than ever lie and try and sleep on that. That's how I was raised. My dad, hang on. My dad, I'm gonna tattle on my little bigger brother here because he's not near me. Hang on. Let's talk for a second on this beautiful morning. My dad just sold his little Kubota tractor and there was something that happened in either transport, and I don't, I'm speaking out of turn when it comes to how this happened, but either Kyle bumped a tree or my dad bumped a tree or something happened and it bent something on the front of the tractor. This has nothing to do with the trailer yet, but when my dad went to sell that tractor, it was immaculate. Kyle took good care of it too, but something bent up front, which didn't really hinder the tractor's cost or ability to function or work. But my dad, and this is how he raised us, mom and dad, would not sell that tractor to a couple of people because he told them, hey, this is bent, just so you know. And I'm talking, you guys, you guys know my dad, right? Like, if you went to buy a tractor and this was like bent, would you be like, no, no, I'm out, okay? No, of course not. Dude. I mean, the other day it wouldn't work, so I just gave it a little smacky smack. But that's how we were raised, man. My dad is just total transparency. You get what you get. I'm not gonna fudge. Uh, even the tra even the truck he just traded, which the lifter went out on the Chevy. I mean, it was horribly obvious during the demo and eval drive. But you know, my dad could have been dishonest, limped it in the parking lot told the salesman it drove great and then a salesman who's not a mechanic drove it let's say it didn't make that noise my dad never could have mentioned it but we like got out of the, I was with my dad we got out on the parking lot and dad was like I'm done I'm done it's clicking it's missing it won't go uphill can't turn the air on I mean he just I, it's it uh, that's a piece of trash that's I sell me a new one I'm like oh, there there goes there goes all negotiation but it wasn't about that to dad it was about the honesty and that's how we were raised. And that's all I want to say about why sometimes I am too trusting. Now I'm learning. I'm learning. I am. I've learned a lot in the last four or five years, a lot from you guys, a whole lot. Um, so that's all I'm going to say about the trailer. I love and appreciate every single person. And th think of it this way. Okay. If I got my money back, do you honestly believe that this day and age that the seller didn't agree to that? No, he had to have agreed to it. So I just want to put that out there. Obviously he agreed to it. Obviously I didn't show up on someone's doorstep and threaten anyone. That's not how you do life. That's, that's just irresponsible and reckless anyway. Met me at the same place I bought it, gave me my money back. We're both moving on. So the trailer search continues. I was messaging Aaron and Kylie to jump back to uh, the day, the now. I was messaging Aaron and Kylie and Irma Gersh, you guys got them to 30,000 subs. How cool is that? So we will be choosing three people and I'll explain why. Remember Aaron and Kylie talked about 
with the relief efforts and the wildfires in Texas and all that they were doing and they sent some hay down there. I've talked to a couple people and we're still going to give away $300 gift cards to you guys. But trust me, I'm going to contact you and you'll know it's me, okay? Just just stay with me, okay? Let, let's keep moving. Come on, let's move. Looks like I can't see, but I'm taller than the bale. Remember, my eyes aren't where the camera is. morning Franklin good morning buddy good morning that's why you don't reach your hand through morning buddy how's the lovely couple June bug Maximus donkeys they don't care Sonny uh, hey where's all the mamas we're missing uh, glory Nellie and Belle Where's the baby? Here's what we're gonna do. I wanted to give you guys a little bit different look. So we're gonna come in the top gate and then we'll drive down to where we want the hay because I don't really want it up here. Hay will make grass grow. So if I'm gonna have grass grow, I want it to be out in the middle where the sun hasn't seen the forest floor in a long time. So bear with me, we're gonna drive through. And that way you can kind of see both sides of the farm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You guys got to see this. The other night we had a predator on the farm. And let me tell you, Badonkadonk was not having it. A predator scared his niece. Watch this clip. Badongadonk, if you guys didn't know, if you're new here, he was devocalized. We don't know when he came to us way later, uh, but he can't bray, so he just wheezes really hard. And that's what he did at that turkey. He just, I can't even do it, it'll hurt my throat, but he just, just wheeze, man. So it's pretty funny. And then he like matched that turkey step for step, strut for strut, down the side. It was pretty funny. Excuse me. Hey, what you doing, brother? What you doing? So I am kind of hoping some of this falls off so they can eat it up here. I'm going to set her down in a minute. June? Oh, man. Glory. How you doing, young lady? Looking good. Miss Nelly. Looks a lot clearer, probably 150 feet in. And that was intentional. We wanted to still like mask some of the noise from the road. Not that there's much, but that's why I'm taking these bales back into the woods because where Jeremiah mulched, that's the best place to do it. This hay will actually put, they're right behind me step for step. This hay will actually put nutrients back in the ground, but we don't need it out here because grass grows. See, it's a lot clearer right about this tree. All this was like mulched. Much, much clearer. Catch it. Catch 
Catch it, bunny. Catch <laughs> it. My goodness. Look out. Stinker. My goodness, like she's starving. You stinkers, get out of the way. Okay, okay, I get it. We're gonna put her right here. Look out, Maximus. Coming down on your head, brother. There we go. So we'll go back and see him here in a minute, but we gotta get this bale out of here because they still chase me even though there's a fresh bale down there. Goodness, just listen. Amen. All right, so I saw all the mamas, so we don't have any new babies. And we're not supposed to until April and May. And now that Fiona's here, uh, we should have a June baby. So, should be pretty cool. Woo! I know, you already found it. I know, I'm doing it for the other ones. I know, well, we have to share, Glory. We gotta share with them. We gotta call them down here. We do, it's the nice thing to do. It's nice, I know. Here, I'll stay put, you stay there. You are so pretty, my goodness, that spread. That pattern, what a beautiful cow. So I finally got ahead of them on the water and I brought it out three times yesterday. Now listen, some of y'all actually encouraged in the comments not to show the water because then people can't complain about it. But do you realize that's the color of well water? Like that's, that's the color of it. Like I'm not saying there's not wells out there that are 800 foot deep and the water comes out crystal clear and that's just how it is. Our well water comes up with kind of a rusty color because it's got a lot of iron in it. And then I was told that that iron turns kind of to a greenish color, like ponds. Okay, has anybody ever drank out of a pond? They're like, man, that's clear. No, that's what it looks like. Is there a little bit of straw in there? Sure, cow's got big teeth. So if I have like a little piece of garlic in my teeth, it's like this big. But if a cow has a piece of straw in its teeth, cut me some slack. <laughs> I might have had poop on. Cut me some slack when there's a little bit in the trough, okay? And no, since it's 30 degrees outside, I'm not going to stick my non-waterproof hand in there right now, okay? I'll come get it later. Zero hesitation. Because it's delicious. It's got so many minerals in it, it's not even funny. I've had people who have done this for... 40, 50 years, ranchers, farmers, my goodness. I'm gonna continue to show you my chores and I'm gonna show all of them and I'm gonna show when the trough is empty. I'm gonna show when I don't scoop the straw out because they're just gonna put it back in there. I'm gonna show it all. You can complain if you want. I'm sorry that someone let kids sit at the adult table. That's how I look at life. I don't know any other way to do it, boys and girls. But man, some of y'all, whoo. Mama didn't spank you. That's the problem. Hey, don't come at me because she ran you off to water. Tipsy goes over there and makes everybody play musical hay bale. Look how tall she is. Flexing on that old turkey the other night. Were you flexing on that turkey? Hi, buddy. Hi. Oh, come here. It's okay. I'm not coming at you. I just fell. What's up, buddy? You keeping everybody safe? 
keeping everybody safe. Yeah. Oh man, this is the first. You want some loving? You want some loving? Come here. Look, Uncle Badonkadonk does it. Yeah. Hi. This would be a first. I've touched her, but I've never been able to pet her. Hi. Hi. My knee is in poop, but we're gonna make this happen. All right, not today. What's up, buddy? What's it doing? Here they come. Sonny. Man, she's getting like more and more dominant. Look out now. Look out. <laughs> I peed a little, man. Badonkadonk just spared my hips and legs, man. We might need a pretty girl's walk like this contest between uh, Miss Fiona here and Tipsy. Oh, man. Man, what a beautiful cow. Where's CJ? We're missing. There he is. What's up, buddy? There's Finn. And she should go. Are you going to go get some hay? Will you push them off? Or was that why they're all here? Because you pushed them off up top. That's what it is. Yep. CJ. <laughs> He's... He's actually a beautiful steer, man. He drove me nuts about six months ago. Just things he got into for about six months. I mean, really, just since we moved here did he kind of calm down. But I think, to be honest, there's nothing wrong with Longhorns being on giant open pasture. But, like, they love and they thrive in this stuff where they can come back here. I kid you not, they've pushed over some of these trees. Look at this. Phineas. So this right here. That's like from them. Like they've, they've pushed this over. They've knocked it around. That's just what they do. What's up, buddy? You coming in for scratches or you... I'm in your scratching spot. What are you doing? What are you doing? We can't do this. You're huge. You're huge. We used to do this. We used to. If I was on my tractor, I'd do it, buddy. I would. Yep. See who's in charge when she goes over there. There's plenty of hay to go around, trust me. Just a pecking order. Oh boy. Well, looks like that pecking order was established. Finn's gonna go around him, because he knows. You guys always talk about how you love watching the herd, so I want to get in here and show you. Yes, that is that is Tipsy peeking over the top, and she's actually downhill from everybody. That's how tall she is. It's pretty crazy. I don't think anyone else is that tall. Not by a long shot. Man, they are loving this. All right. Let's talk about... Here, stay there. I'll go this way. It's okay.
I briefly mentioned it in the last video that a controlled burn is not for us. And listen, I know Daniel and Dusty. I can text them. I can call them. I know them. But our conditions out here are not for a controlled burn. This would burn forever with all this mulch on the ground now. I mean, I'm not even sure it would be safe because you couldn't really gauge how long it would burn. Like those guys, I, I don't want to say those guys because some of y'all watch them. And if Daniel says this or if Dusty says that, then Chad's wrong or Daniel's wrong or Dusty's. I'm four hours north of those guys, man. I, I can only show you what my conditions look like. And those guys have been doing it a lot longer than me. So what do I do? I go to somebody that works for the fire department one county over because I'm on like the county line. So I came out here and looked at it. Ray actually talked with him. This would not be a controlled burn environment. There's, this is not, you know, dead grass from three years ago. This is not dead pasture. This is not pasture that needs to be revitalized. This is leaves. This is overgrowth. I mean, really it just needs animals on it eating. It probably needs a Probably needs a half dozen goats, but phew, baby steps. And Jeremiah is actually coming out today. The next thing we're going to do is take the fence that away. And there's also an addition going in over at Ray's place that you'll see here after a bit. But right now, let's go uh, see what Cabela's barking at. I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background. But let's go check. And buy I'm You guys hear it? That's all they can do, unfortunately. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. Can I touch? Can I touch? No. My goodness. You stinker. All those cockleburrs have fallen off. Probably replanted themselves out here. I am kind of curious, though. You know what's crazy? Since they don't bray, like Lily obviously doesn't, I've never heard Lucy bray. I mean, like, barely. Badonkadonk can't. So I wonder if Little Donk, because this is their view, he can't see her. He can't see mom and baby and Badonkadonk. I wonder if he even knows they're here, which sounds crazy. But remember, when she was born, you guys were like, you have got to separate them. I mean, you guys had like an intervention in the comments about separating the baby and the dad. So now that I have, don't tell me it's sad that he's over there and she's over here. Come here, buddy. Hi. Hi. You keeping everybody safe over here? This is like your pasture. Yep. This is your pasture, buddy. It's okay. Are you all right? <laughs> he wants treats. I actually keep some in the side by side. <clears throat> but obviously I'm on the tractor, so. Anyway. Yes, sir. 3630. So be 36 long, 30 wide. And then there's going to be like a five foot uh, walkway right here. So pretty cool. ready for concrete thanks to uh mike and tyler they'll be back tomorrow we got the inspection crew here right now making sure it's ready so anyway he said he'd be here about 7 30 in the morning to button some things up and then concrete will be here uh let's see about 9 30 but it's gonna be I know, you're going to be crowing then. 
but we've got 36 long and 30 wide uh, thanks to the new pickup and my mom and dad guiding me on what they did on their garage pour. You have a better animal run than you do now. You have a better animal run than I do now. Better approach. <laughs> they came from way over in deep. I know. It's so funny. So, I can't show them what you've got behind me, right? What's new? Uh, they knew it was coming. It's right here, brother. What are you Did doing? you tell them? I almost called them sister. Um. Yeah, I think I did. I think we mentioned we had a barn coming. Or a oh, we, coming. they know now. We mentioned it. <laughs> Wait, you want, you want to eat or not? So if you want to see a full tour, you're going to have to wait on Ray's video in a couple of days. It's over here. Now, do the goats get to sleep in it tonight? Because there's no fence around it. Um, I, no. It probably depends on how cold it is. It was colder last night than it's supposed yeah, to be Yeah, true. Now. True. It's been, uh, we've been waking up to a frost warning, like 28 degrees. Hey, listen, tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm gonna need a favor. Y'all gonna have to stay back here, like all day long. Cabell, you hear that? Don't need no puppy prints in the new concrete, okay? Just three little boys and Ray and I. I have to keep the chickens in the coop tomorrow too, because we do not need chicken feet across the driveway. It's not gonna happen, sorry. Yep, I heard you. A lot of moving parts today. And yeah, I know you saw a glimpse of Ray's uh, new barn shelter over there, but you'll have to come back and see more on her channel. I'll keep you updated. But anyway, that's it. It's been a few hours. I'm sitting on the back deck editing, getting ready to grill or make some sort of food for everybody. If you can't tell, I spent some time outside today. Got a little sunburn, actually, even though it was like 40 degrees. I don't know if it's sunburn or windburn. But uh, yeah, but anyway, life is good. Life is real good, so. With that said, you guys stay tuned. We've got a lot more planned. I am gonna fill in the pour tomorrow, the concrete pour, because I think it's really cool. And this is the first time I've ever had concrete poured for like something that was mine, like ours, like it belongs to Ray and I. So I'll be sure and film that and I'll get all three of the boys, uh, I hope, in some kind of orderly fashion, we're gonna put our handprints in the uh, concrete and really make this our own. I also have a surprise for you guys from the old property. So anyway, uh, should be pretty cool. But yeah, stay tuned. That's it, man. God bless you guys. Y'all be good, don't work too hard. Don't make it weird. God bless, deuces.